Another video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm gonna be disassembling a PS4 CUH1115. In other countries, this could be an 1100 series or 1116. The most important thing to look out for are the first three numbers after CUH. To check to see if this video applies to you, you can flip your console and look at the back. Right here, there's gonna say, on the sticker here at the bottom, it's gonna say model and your model should be a CUH11X, whatever the number here might be, could be a five if you're in Canada or US. If you're in other countries, this number would be a six or seven, as it is in Korea. In Japan, it's an 1100. So the most important, the most important thing to note are the first three numbers after CUH. And if it's a CUH111, then this video applies to you. I'm gonna be disassembling this PS4 down to the frame. I'm gonna be taking everything out and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace each part in this PS4 because pretty much all the components fail eventually. So uh, this video is gonna be very helpful for you if you're trying to do disassembly or any kind of general repair. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash that like button and do check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. Links in the description box. You're gonna need our FastTech Pro Auto Kit to disassemble this PS4. And we sell this on our website. This is an automatic screwdriver, which will save you a lot of time for electronics disassembly. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take out is the hard drive, which is the easiest thing to remove. All you gotta do is remove this cover by pulling on it. It's gonna come right off. Now we're going to remove the Phillips screw that secures the hard drive in place. I'm gonna remove this Phillips screw, pull on the hard drive like that. And if you're getting a PS4 cannot start error or if your PS4 gets stuck in the PlayStation menu or it takes a long time to load games and it gets stuck during loading, it could be due to a defective hard drive. Particularly if your hard drive is making ticking noises, that's a good way to tell if your hard drive is failing. You can also connect these to a PC through a, set, uh, through a SATA or a USB to SATA connector and do a sector test on them to, to check to see if they're broken. If you do get bad sectors, you need a new hard drive. And we sell these on our website. Links are gonna be in the description box. If you wanna put a new hard drive in here, you're gonna have to remove the enclosure. And there's four Phillips screws that hold it in. Once we remove the screws, the hard drive is going to come out of its enclosure. And that's a 500 gigabyte HDSD hard drive right there. We sell 500 gigs, one terabytes, and SSDs as well. Next, we're going to remove the bottom cover, which is this piece right here. And to remove that, we're going to have to remove these stickers. These are already removed before, so they are in bad shape. But regardless, we're gonna remove these stickers. Remove the last one. Then we're gonna remove these Torx T8H screws. These are Torx T8H screws and not T8. And you're gonna need a specialized screwdriver for this, one that has a hole in the middle. And we do sell these separately on our website and they are also part of the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. So when you buy the kit, all of this is included. We're gonna remove the Torx T8 screws. Now that we got the screws removed, we're gonna lift up the back like that and it's gonna come off. If your PS4 is not turning on at all, which means no blue light and no beep, it could be due to a defective power supply and that's this piece right here. There's five screws that hold it in, three Torx T8s and two Phillips and we sell these power supplies on our website as well in case you're interested.
Now on to the Phillips. Then we're gonna remove the connector on the side here by grabbing it from the connector, wiggling it and pulling like that. Then we're gonna lift out the power supply. It's gonna come out. And the power supply on these 1115 units is an ADP 240CR. You could have a power supply that starts with an N15 or N16 model number and they're basically the same thing. They're just sold in different countries, different model numbers. And all of these do 110 and 220 or 240. So if you buy it from us, you don't have to worry about voltage or any of that because these are universal. Next, we're gonna re remove this antenna. If you have any connection issues with your controller, like if you have to stand really close to your PS4 for the controller to connect properly, or if there's lag with the controller, it's most likely this antenna here and what happens is this solder connection right here breaks. So sometimes you can try fixing the solder connection. If you have, a, if you don't have a soldering iron at home, don't worry, we do sell this on our website. We can, we can sell you the whole antenna and you can uh, replace it easy as I'm about to show you. There's a single Torx T8 screw that holds it in. We're gonna remove that screw. We're gonna remove this cable here, lift it up. Unroute it, lift up the antenna, and the cable is gonna come out. This one's dusty, but like I said, we do sell this antenna on our website. Links in the description box. Next, we're gonna remove the disk drive, and uh, we're gonna remove this cable here. We're gonna push down on this connector, on the silver part, and then pull the cable. It's gonna come out. Same thing here, push down, pull. These cables actually break quite a lot. In a lot of my previous videos where I show you guys how to clean the PS4, you guys end up breaking these cables or these uh, plastic nubs on the side. So I've sold quite a lot of these cables uh, because you guys, you guys seem to love to break these. Next, we're gonna remove the disk drive. There's some Torx T8 screws here that need to be removed. There's one under this cable here. There's a Phillips screw at the front. Now the disc drive should come out. Pay very close attention here, guys. This is where a lot of you mess up. There's this logic board here that's paired to that motherboard in that PS4, and if you don't switch over this logic board when you replace your disk drive, your new disk drive is not gonna read games. So what you wanna do is you wanna remove these screws here. These are Phillips. The shield's gonna come off. There's gonna be another Phillips screw here. I'm gonna remove that. Lift up the logic board, this one, this cable pulls out, so does this. This one has a clip, you're gonna lift it up. And now we have the logic board out. This is a BDP-025. You, what you wanna do is you wanna put this logic board into the new disk drive and then put the new disk drive into your PS4. Otherwise, your disk drive replacement is not gonna work. And a lot of people message us regarding this and they miss the part where they have to put the old logic board in. We're gonna remove this black Phillips screw here. And next we're gonna be removing the motherboard. And to do that, we're gonna flip, we're gonna flip the PS4. We're gonna remove these two Torx T8 screws. Then we're gonna lift up this cover from the front, like that, from the side that says PS4. And now, since we're trying to remove the motherboard, we're gonna remove all these Torx T8 screws and these two Phillips screws that hold the heatsink clamp in.
Next, we're gonna remove these two Phillips screws from the heat sink clamp. Next, we're gonna lift up this fan connector. Some of you guys pull it out this way. Please don't do that, it's gonna break. And then you're gonna be leaving comments on my YouTube videos, so please don't do that. We're gonna lift this connector up. Watch how I do it. Up, upwards. All right? Then we're gonna lift up this back plate. It's gonna come right off. And that's the motherboard right there. It's an SAB001. And surprise, surprise, we sell these on our website as well. That's actually why we're disassembling this PS4 so we can get a motherboard for a customer. Unfortunately, that's just how we have to get parts for these since Sony does not want you to have brand new parts. This is somehow, this is how we have to get parts for our customers. We're gonna lift up the motherboard by pushing it up from the USB side here. We're gonna lift it up. The motherboard's gonna come right out. And that's the other side of the motherboard. That's the APU chip. That's the Bluetooth chip. This fails very frequently. If your PS4 is not connecting at all to your controller, it only connects in safe mode with a USB cable. You need to replace this chip. That's the notorious CMOS battery that's failing on these. And then you get an error on your PS4. Your PS4 is not gonna load any games from the hard drive or disc because the date and time can't be saved once, once these batteries die. Um, and so you have to replace the battery for the PS4 to be able to sa save date and time, be able to save trophy information and therefore load games. I hate the fact that this is actually even a thing. It's embarrassing and frankly, it should be illegal that these PS4s are rendered useless because of this $1 battery. It pisses me off, but what am I gonna do, right? I'm gonna show you guys how to replace this battery since this is a thing now. What you wanna do is you wanna stick a knife right here, okay? You wanna push this clip outwards like that. You see that retaining clip that went back? Then the battery's gonna pop out. Like that. Be careful not to poke this thing, it could explode. So that's the battery. And this one's still good, I'm just doing this to show you guys. And once you get the new battery, which we also sell on our website, I'll put uh, a link in the description box. The ones we sell are actually a lot better than these. They last a lot longer. And then to put the new battery in, I'm gonna pull this tab back, put the new battery in, and then release. And that's gonna be in like that. Like I said, this one doesn't need to be replaced. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And again, guys, if you need any of this stuff, Check us out, fasttechstore.com or links in the top comment and the description box. Next, we're gonna try to get to the fan and to do that, we have to remove this heatsink plate. Also, if you guys are getting the PS4 is too hot error message, it's most likely because of the dust on the other side of this heatsink. A lot of people just replace the thermal paste and think that's gonna be enough, but it never is. So we're gonna remove these screws here. And we're gonna lift up this heat sink. And there's some dust here, as you can tell, but this one was kept in very good shape, especially considering this is a launch model console or almost a launch model console. There's very little dust here, but normally this would be clogged with dust. And if you're getting the PS4 is too hot air message, you wanna, get a, you wanna grab a compressed air can and blow this out. Next up, the final item to remove is the fan. There's two screws that hold it in. I'm gonna lift up the fan, and that this is a model KSB0912HE, and we also sell this on our website as well. And this one looks like it's in decent shape. There's some dust that needs to be cleaned out, but it looks like it's spinning normally. But sometimes, even if these are spinning normally, the coil inside gets blown out and it's not gonna spin when it's plugged in. So if you're getting the PS4 is too hot error message, check that as well, especially if you can't hear the fan at all. Uh, if it is a issue caused by dust, you're gonna hear this thing get really loud and then you can just clean out the dust and happy days. But if it's not spinning at all, you need to replace this fan. 
We also sell this on our website, links in the description box. And with this cable also now removed, that's the final item we can remove from this PS4. It's just a piece of plastic now at this point. So another video from Fast Tech. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't forget to check us out at fasttechstore.com if you need any PS4 parts, tools, or services. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out. And before you guys close this video, check me out on Instagram too. I post a lot of funny content on there, which some of you might find offensive, but I think a lot of you will find funny. So check out that link in the description box as well. We'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.